All right guys, Keith and I traveled great distances to be here today. We drove about nine and a half hours yesterday, got down to this spot with a few hours of light left, spotted some bulls, a couple drop bulls and one still packing. And then we ended up camping with my buddy Wes and some of his buddies. And now we just got to hiking this morning and we're just right into elk sign right out the gate. So we should be on our way to finding some bone. Well guys, it is taking longer to break the ice than I originally thought it would. Just gotta keep trucking along. Wes and his buddies have been down here for a couple of days and they've only picked up a few each. And they said it's been pretty sporadic and they're not really in pockets. So I guess the strategy is to just cover as much country as possible. I'm trying to get into these deep canyons and glass them because it's the most glassable country. Up on top, it's just flat and pretty thick. So I think the best strategy is to stick to these canyons and just glass them and hopefully glass up a horn. All right guys, just been trying to find a spot to cross this river. And I finally just found like a shallower spot where I could cross. Still got freaking drenched though. And then I looked across the river. I thought it was a stick, but nope. We have our first elk shed of the day. First elk shed of 2023. Just a little raghorn. Nothing special at all. Well, I was just having a snack up on the ridge behind me. And then I started hiking down and I've got a little shed in the bottom here. It's like a little raghorn elk shed. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, just a little guy hidden in the grass. Well, it's a shed. Better than nothing. Just found Keith. He got into him. Just one. Nice. Dude, that's a really good bull. Heck yeah. Sweet bull. Let's go match him up. Uh, he's big enough, and like his other sides, hopefully, yeah, within 500 yards. I could have easily missed it. I sat over there for about a half an hour circling around, but I was like, fuck this. I mean, that's that's like at least a 280. No, I bet he's 300. Right. I was thinking 290 because I'm like, if that was like five or six inches, he bigger. might even be 310, dude. He's got good mass. Got good mass. Good unders, decent third, good sword, good beam. His beams, I guess. Decent. I would say 300 all day. It's like it's probably been on the ground for like a week, maybe. I mean, yeah, he could have dropped a couple days ago with that amount of blood. Sweet shed. All right, guys, we came down in here where Keith found his shed at Six Point, and we thought we'd come look for the other side, so we've just been kind of gridding around where the shed was found. And I just came up on this rub, it looked real fresh. Came up on this rub, and then I looked up in there, and there is a brown elk shed. 
up in there you can see the tines. I was just coming through here after seeing that rub and that's what I saw. Can't tell if it's Keith's other side or not. Looks similar. I don't think it is. I think it's a different bull. Look at this shed. Yes, baby. First good elk shed of the year. Oh, it's not even brown. That's a white. Oh my goodness. No way. It's definitely not Keith's other side. All right, guys. It's starting to get dark on me. There he is right there. Decent bull. Man, he's chalk. That's crazy. It's pretty cracked up and flaked on the inside, but good shed. It's right near where Keith picked up his brown six too, so maybe there's more in here. All right guys, we had some breakfast this morning, cleaned up camp. We just started hiking from where our camp was. We're already in elk sign. Kind of bombing into the area where Keith and I found those six points yesterday. So we'll see if uh, we can't find some more in that area. Keith just found a brown right there. Yeah, that's way cool how he's laying. That's so awesome how he's laying like that. He's pretty dinky. <laughs> that is a dinky <laughs> shed. He's like a raghorn six. It's a good cellar shed. It's like a perfect six, but he's just tiny. Yeah, good potential. All right, we've just been gridding the spot where Keith found his two browns. We're just trying to match them up. And I just came into this bottom. It looked real good. And I turned the corner and this is what I saw laying right there. Stud brown elk set. Look at how these things are laying. They are right on top of each other. And the one has a freaking cheater. Big old crotch point cheater laying right on top of each other. What a stud set. Alright guys, this is what we came down here for. Is a set like this. Oh my goodness, he's got a cheater up there on his fifth point. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Stud bull. Little devil tine starting there. And then this side is so cool. Big inline seven. Beautiful bull. Beautiful coloration. What a stud bull. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is what we came down here for. Big old seven point. Heck yeah. There's more in here. We just got to find them. Yeah, dude, these buckles can come across the backpack and go to each other's buckles. So you got four straps that you can run across. Nice. It's like perfect for packing sheds. We'll go burrs up, since we have two of them. I usually like to go under the third on the first one. We should pack nicely.
right guys looks like we got another one chalker broken third all chewed up and broken on the back end pretty chalky